In this video, I will talk how to fit the data and we can do a linear fit as well as a polynomial fit. So we will first look at the data, then how the data looks like and then we will decide how to fit it. So first select the data and then go to a scatter plot and our data is like this. Let me double click in order to change few parameters here and this one let's say i select 15 and then i come to the edge thickness and here i select for example some values like let's say 30 and i apply and my data points are here now i see that the data is somehow linear but this point is very deviated from it and this point is somehow deviated from the line but not much compared to this one so i will first go to the linear fit and then i will open the dialog i will not change any values here and will set ok and it has fitted the data linearly and this is the value of r square is 0.93708 so 0 0.93 is not a very good fit it should be at least 0 0.99 means up to two zeros we should have the accuracy so the reason for that the data is not very good uh, here and it is not according to the linear fit so one way is to improve our fit is this one that we select here that we select this data point click it once and then click it again so this will be selected only the single point will be selected and let me say that mask this point when i mask this point then it will change its color as red and then i will select my data points and now I will go to analysis and I will go to fitting linear fit and open dialog and I will click OK. So it is linearly fitted again. And now let's see that how much improvement has occurred with removal of the data point. And you can see that now our adjusted R square value has gone to 0.997. And this plot is much improved one. This linear fitting is much improved one. If we remove one data point from here, let me uh, change the color of this one so that it is to be recognizable. Blue and this three and okay. So this plot compared to the red one, compared to the red one is much better because in this one our r square value has much improved and this linear fitting is acceptable when we are having up to the r square value up to 2.69 another way to do this thing is means somehow we cannot skip a given point so for to plot this thing to, why not to plot this uh, data is a polynomial fit so let's select the data and go to a scatter plot and here we will have to select this value and we will have to unmask this so that this one is included and double click this and just change a little bit the shape of it 15 here and here I can select 40 for example and OK and now our data points are here why not to fit it with a polynomial fit so a polynomial fit will be from the open dialog here and now here it is asking an additional question that what should be the order of the polynomial so if we select this thing as one then it is the same linear fitting means fitting with a straight line 
we will have to keep it as 2 because it can better fit with uh, ax square plus bx plus c and okay and as i fit this one i can see that now the points are that we are having the adjusted r square value is 0.979 so this fit is also acceptable because if we look here if we look here then it is touching almost all the data point this one and this one are just below and above and it is going in the middle of it so such a, a plot means it will if we round it up then it will be 0.98 which is considered as a good fit so it is up to our requirement that whether we will have to put it linearly or to fit it uh, with a polynomial thank you for watching